everybody. Welcome back to Wild Rose. This is Diana Staff, and today I want to share with you my haul from Daiso, Japan. Some good stuff here, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to Wild Rose. This is Diana Stack, and I'm so happy to have you guys here because today we are going to go through my Daiso, Japan yarn haul and notions haul. So, um, what is Daiso? So Daiso out here is probably the equivalent to the Dollar Trees back in the United States, um, just for a, like a better kind of idea of what it is. Um, I, I'm going to say that they're probably a lot nicer though. Uh, Daiso here is just, it's amazing. It's, it's so huge. It's a national chain as well. So I'm not going to put a description to the ones I went to, I'll like a link to where they are because they're everywhere, I mean, everywhere. And their, the reason why I say it's better is because their craft section is a lot bigger. I mean, some Daisos are really tiny, so they don't have as much, I guess just like, kind of like, you know, a Dollar Tree back home. But um, the Daisos out here have amazing, amazing uh, craft sections. And especially if you're crocheting on a budget, I've used these yarns. I've used these yarns. I've used their notions. Um, now, all the yarns in here are going to be acrylic, with the exception of one uh, or two skeins that are actually polyester. Uh, they are smaller skeins, but uh, some of them actually have some good amount of yarn in them. And uh, they're just really, like I said, they're decent. I've used them for small, tiny projects. If I'm just on the road and I don't bring any crochet stuff with me and I feel, feel, feel like grabbing a, you know, a skein of yarn and a quick hook, they're great for that because they're all over Japan, everywhere. They're everywhere here. Um, they also have some pretty cool stuff too, like household stuff and it's pretty good. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you, I'm not going to get too wordy, but before, before I go any further, I want to say something to you guys. I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to you guys for being just, um, just amazing. And sorry, my, my hair is bugging me. It might a little bit on my face here. Um, I want to thank you guys for being so amazing and so supportive. I want to thank you for all the shout outs. Um, you guys are absolutely the best. Seriously, I never thought I'd get to 25. I didn't. I really didn't. Um, I figured no one's going to really want to hear what I have to say or hear me just babble about yarn and stuff. Um, but you guys are amazing. And I I can't even say thank you enough. It's just you guys are absolutely the best. Um, the support that I've seen from you guys is just phenomenal. And it truly, it just, it leaves me speechless. It really does kind of. And um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope that I can you know, live up to your expectations and uh, do my best here for you. So if you ever have any suggestions or tips or hints or anything like that for me, please feel free to share them. Um, I accept um, constructive criticism very well. And um, I want to make this place enjoyable for you as well, as well as it's enjoyable for me. I love doing this. I love sharing my love for this stuff. And I noticed a couple of you have even subscribed to the uh, Go Go Geo Japan page, which is my basically just our adventures here in Japan. Uh, what we see, foods we eat, places we go, um, things we experience. Um, I like to kind of cover the gamut of geography, uh, culture, food, sites, history, things like that. Um, so it's it's kind of cool to see a couple of you went over there. Um, I do have a link to that show page um, on the front, the actual channel page of my Wild Rose. So if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see Go Go Geo Japan. So if you're just ever curious about checking things out, um, or if there's any if there's anything you ever want me to show you from here, or like find it one of the shops here, I'll do that for you too. Um, if I can with anything within my power, so just let me know. Uh, but let's hop into this because I don't want to have you guys sit through like an hour long video of me gabbing away. Um, everything in this bucket right here, this bucket, everything in here, um, was a hundred yen except for two items. That's it. Everything's a hundred yen. Um, uh, at Daiso's, if a package isn't marked, that means it's a hundred yen. If it's not a hundred yen, it'll be marked as such, like 200 yen or 300 yen. But I don't think I've ever seen anything in a Daiso over 500 yen ever, ever, ever. Um, my favorite spatula is from Daiso and it costs me a hundred yen. And I love, love, love this spatula. It's amazing. Um, so let's go into what I found here. And I just got a little sampling of what you can find there. So let's start off with the hooks. Hooks, hooks, hooks. Now these are 
just the two hooks they had hanging there. One is a four millimeter and one's a three millimeter. And I've used the Daiso hooks. They've got great little thumb holes. And let's see here. If you can see those. There we go. They've got great thumb holes on them. They're actually not, they're not uncomfortable. They're very comfortable to use. Um, and for a hundred yen each. And you really can't, you know, you can't beat that. You know, are they furls or are they anything like that? I know, uh, no, they're not. But um, for the price, you know, this is great. And the nice thing about discount or budget items like this too is that if you're starting out and you're brand new and you don't just, you just feel you don't want to drop a few hundred bucks to start out, you know, budget stores like Dollar Tree and Daiso and even like Dollar General, um, Big Lots, I think for the Northeast people, Odd Lot, um, Ocean State, is it Ocean State Odd Lot or Ocean State Job Lot up there? I was born and raised in Connecticut, but I can't remember some of the stores up there. Um, but we had the Odd Lots, we had the Big Lots up there as well. So there's always, no matter where you live, there's going to be a discount store somewhere. And I promise you, some of those will have craft supplies. Um, I picked up some darning needles and again, a hundred yen. Look at that. Three darning needles for a hundred yen and weaving in those ends, those tails you need these, um, a hundred yen in case you're wondering. So a hundred yen right now is right about 77 cents USD. So that's the exchange rate. So if you're, if you're switching your money over, if you're converting your cash, everything in here basically cost me 77 cents USD, except for two items. Um, these are great. These are pom-pom makers and they had two different sizes and there's two pom-pom makers in each package. Uh, this one is 2.8 inches and 1.4 inches. It's a pink and a gray and that's a hundred yen. Look at that. Can you see that? And the cool thing is on the back, they even give you directions on how to use it. And for a long time, I was making pom-poms by hand. So these things have been a godsend. I love the pom-pom makers. And there were two that I picked up. And this one is 3.5 inches and 2.2 inches, a purple and a white. Is that white in there? Yes. So can you see that? And again, it gives you the instructions on the back here as well. So again, these were 100 yen each or 77 cents USD. So for 200 yen, I've got four total pom-pom makers inside of both of these bags. And this is great. Um, you cannot beat these prices. And they work. These work. I've used the Daiso pom-pom makers before. I mean, they're not as fancy as some of the, the higher price ones, but they work. You know, and you can't beat these prices. Like I said, you know, especially if you're on a budget. I mean, and many people today are, you know, times are tough all over, all over the globe. And, you know, these kind of stores allow you to, you know, keep up your hobbies and keep up your passion for crafting without necessarily breaking the bank, which is wonderful. We need that today. Now, this little gadget. I've never used one of these. I've never sought out one of these. I've never looked for one of these. Uh, these are pattern markers and they had them there at one of the Daisos I went to. And this one is 100 yen again, 100 yen. Okay. And this is great. Um, like I said, I've never used them. I'm going to admit, I am a really, really crappy pattern reader. I always have been. It's a, it's an attention thing for me. Um, to just, and I have, I have my, my row counters and my stitch counters and everything else. Um, it's sometimes it depends on the day, I guess, the weather and whatever. Um, I have a very difficult time following patterns sometimes. So I do it. It just takes me a little longer if I'm really following a pattern strictly. But if you have a pattern that just has the images for the stitches you'll need, um, these are great because I took this one out of the package so you could see what it does. And it goes over the row that you're working on and it kind of magnifies it a little bit so you don't lose your place. And as you move along the pattern, you just simply move it. 
and then you're on your next row. And these are great, 100 yen. Uh, like I said, I've never used one, but I might. This is really cool. And I'm looking at it now with my eyes and I can see this. I mean, it really does kind of, it does separate that row. So you can see it clearly from the other rows. So yeah, pattern marker, 100 yen at the Daiso here. I went to a few different Daisos, uh, not just one. So I went to a, different, a few different ones. You'll see the videos. Uh, one of them, or two of them I went to with my husband, Jeff, who is amazing, amazing, amazing. And one of the Daisos I went to with my beautiful friend, Lee. And you'll see her in the videos as well, in that video. Um, but uh, let's see, what other notions do I have there? I remember these are all 100 yen. And I think Dollar Tree is now, is Dollar Tree $1.25 now? Because mom said it went up. She's at our, she lives in our home on the Gulf Coast um, with our, our, with our, well, all of ours. They're hers too. <laughs> she, she's been living with us. So we, we ad adopted animals all together. So they're hers. And um, she said, don't you take my babies away. Don't you take them. So, you know, and one of our, our, our dog there is um, special needs, so she can't really fly or anything. But I go back at least, I spent half the year there, half the year here. So I'm back and forth, back and forth. And it is a hard flight. Um, and mom, their Nana dotes on them. So, and they've never had to leave their own home. So they're in their home with their loved ones, with their family. And I go back and forth. So I'm here and then I'm there and then I'm here and then I'm there. And it works. Um, but, uh, I'm trying to find, okay, so these are really cool. Now they did have, these are yarn threaders. Now these yarn threaders, I'm going to say right now, they do not work for bulk, for bulky yarns. Okay. They don't. Um, I found that they don't bulky yarns. So you're going to use a bulkier needle. It's a little easier to get into. Um, these are going to handle maybe, maybe worsted way up to depending on uh, the type it is. But I love these for uh, threading yarn through my darning needles because it's just so much easier than trying to get the, the yarn through. Um, these are invaluable and these are 100 yen. Now I have a fancy one in my little bag. Do I have my little bag here? I do. My little drawers. This was a closet and I kind of converted it to my little yarn organization area. Um, I don't have my fancy yarn threader in here. It is in the bowl on the coffee table because I was using it the other night. Apologies. This is another thing you can find on Amazon and it's a darning needle holder. And I'll have to find a link for it too, but if you, your darning needles, just put them in here. This is great. And a lot of the times if you buy these darning needle holders, they'll actually come with needles inside of them. Be careful. Some of them are actually sharp. They're sewing needles, not darning needles or not the dull end needles. Um, but that's a great little thing, little doodad to keep your uh, your darning needles in. But threaders, 100 yen, look at that. And I got a few of these. I have a bunch anyways that are mine, but I got a few of these, you know, to share. So I share a lot of stuff, so, you know. Uh, my, okay, these are, I love these. Now, I want to show you this. These are a hundred yen. Now these are stitch markers. Look at these stitch markers. Now they're different sizes. Can you see that? So they're different sizes, color coded, obviously for sizes. Um, these were a hundred yen. Now I will, I lose stitch markers because my wonderful cat Poe loves to play with them. If I keep them out, they're all over the house. Um, so I lose stitch markers all the time. I'll vacuum, one goes into the vacuum cleaner. Um, but these are great. These are 100 yen. Now, if you're in Hobby Lobby or Joanne or Michaels or wherever you shop for your supplies um, online, you're going to see these and they're not going to be 77 cents USD. They're not. Um, you might find them in bulk on Amazon maybe. Um, but for 100 yen, these are great. You can't beat these. And honestly, these work just as well as my clovers. They work as well as I have tulip um, stitch markers right over there in the little tin. Let me show these to you real quick here. My stool almost knocked over on me. I have a hair that's like bugging me. Um, this is what's left of a full tin of tulip stitch markers. I don't know what happened to them. I have no idea. 
uh, I lose them. That's why I buy tons of stitch markers. I don't, I'm not a fan of the clasp ones, the ones you just clasp in. I'm, I never was. Um, not that they're bad. I mean, they might be great for other people. Just for me, they just don't work. Um, but I love these little plastic ones. These are great. So these are 100 yen each, and I'm sure that if you go to like a Dollar General or um, even like a Dollar Tree, uh, you can probably find some stitch markers out there. I don't think, I, I bought yarn at Dollar Tree once or twice just for a quick project, um, but I don't think I've ever bought notions there. I think aside from the couple um, hooks, maybe, and a couple other things, they didn't seem to have much in the way of... Um, craft supplies as far as like crochet knitting went and that just could be the ones I went to um but obviously um you know I I'm not sure I don't I've never really gone to family dollar no we just kind of hit dollar general if you're going to go anywhere like that um sorry my stomach is growling I haven't had breakfast yet and it's, this is the third time I've been filming this one because the first time I filmed it, it, something was wrong with the lighting. The second time I filmed this, my neighbor was constructing constructing something so loudly that's all you could hear on the video. So third time's the charm. Um, but yeah, those are some great notions. Um, like I said, you know, I mean, a hundred yen each, each. So you can absolutely find uh, budget goods for crocheting and knitting. You can definitely find uh, the the Daiso actually had knitting needles, like knitting needles for like 100 yen. Uh, they had an, the circular needles with the cable. Uh, I think they had a package there for 200 yen. I mean, if you're just learning, you're just starting out, you know. So let's go into some of the yarns I found. Now, there's so many different yarns at different Daisos. I just grabbed a few of them. I do have multiple skeins of these colors. Um, I'm just showing you the ones that I do have right here. Uh, make sure I got one color of each. So all of these are acrylic, aside from these fuzzy ones, which are polyester. I'm going to start with the most expensive one first. Now, this was the only skein of yarn that cost 300 yen. This was it. This is 80 grams of yarn. I'm going to say, I don't know, what would you say that was? I mean, there's no, I couldn't see a size in English on here and I don't read Japanese. So um, I'm going to call that, what, like maybe a sock weight, you know, um, maybe a two, maybe, but it's pretty. This is called postcard. It's red. There you go. And it's, look at the colors in that. That is so pretty. I'm not a fan of consistently changing colors all the time over and over again. So I do kind of get lazy and I do like these because it adds color to your project without you having to change yarns all the time. And it's not that changing colors is hard. It's just, it's the weaving in the ends. I hate weaving in the ends. I really do. I can't even, I can't even tell you how badly I hate weaving in ends. Um, but it's part of it. So you do it. But yeah, that's red. You see that color? It's really pretty colors. Um, the second most expensive thing I got there was a 200 yen cake. Uh, and this is, there's no color on here. They just call it mix, mix cake, uh, mix color. So this is acrylic and this was 200 yen. This is about, I think this is 80 grams. And it is a bulkier weight yarn. It's, it's a little thicker, but it's really super soft and super pretty. Look at that. Look how nice that is. Look at those colors. They're really pastel. I hope you can see that. Nice pastel colors. Uh, very, very pretty. So that's it. These were the only two yarns that were not 100 yen. 200 yen, 300 yen, but you're getting 80 grams of yarn in these. And this here, if you had a couple skeins of this, you can easily do something like, you know, a scarf or a hat or something or, um, maybe a small shawl or something like that, but you can't beat the price. And they're nice. They're actually very, they're very soft. They're very nice. Like I said, I've used Daiso yarns and the Daiso yarns are not bad. Now they are made in China. I know some people don't like that. Some people do. I'm just letting you know. Um, but because I bought them in Japan, they're technically Japanese. So I'm sticking to that. 
So these are some of the other acrylic yarns that I got, and these are just very bright, fun colors. I'm gonna put them all together for you. And like I said, I got multiple skeins of each. Can you see those colors? And this could just be fun little project stuff. Um, I have made hats with these colors, not this particular yarn, but these colors in general. I do a lot of hiking, I do a lot of birding and foraging and things like that in the winter, uh, in the fall. Fall, like in just those spring, fall generally in America or back in the United States. And I find that these are great safety colors and you can make a cute little hat or an ear warmer or something just to kind of say, hey, human, don't shoot me. <laughs> um, but if you are hunting, I do like venison, especially nice venison loin steak, mm, like a loin roast, marinated, mm, roasted slow. God, I'm so hungry. Oh my God. I'm making breakfast after this because I'm starving or I think it'd be brunch. My little bird clock says it's almost 11 a.m. here, so brunch. Yes, there it goes. It's growling. It's going, Mommy, feed me. I don't want why my stomach would call me Mommy. That's a weird, that's a weird thing. I don't have kids, so that's a weird thing for me. I have fur babies. I guess that counts. I mean, yeah, they're my fur babies. That counts. But anyways, um, and they're not here tonight, usually, or today, this morning. Usually, they're sitting here with me watching what I do. But today, they're not. But... Yep, so you got cool little safety colors there. And then you've got this really pretty hot pink. Can you see those colors? And with the hot pink, you can do something like a, like a little hat or a scarf with that purple. And that would be really pretty, no? See that? But these are really, really pretty. And then you have a red. I'm just gonna take some out of the way here because um, that red is really, it's nice cherry red too. It's nice, bright, bright red. So that's really pretty too. And like I said, these are 30 grams. I thought these were 30 grams. Um, and they don't have colors on, they have color codes on them. So yeah, these are, I think these are 30 grams. Now these are 30 grams each. I'm going to say 30 grams. Yeah. 30 grams about there. Now, um, Oh, this one here. This is the fuzzy yarn. Now, they usually have these in stock at a lot of the dicers I've gone to. This one is honey. And I've actually used this. I've doubled this up for a scarf. So this is really pretty and it's really soft. It's acrylic. Like these are all acrylics except for the two here that are polyester. I'll show you those in a second. Um, can you see that? It's got a lot of the golden kind of colors there. I don't know if you can see those, but I'm trying not to have this fall off my... It keeps crunching on me here, so I apologize if you hear like crunch, 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 crunch. Um, it's one of these little collapsible ones, and it keeps collapsing on me, and I'm trying to keep it up. But I keep them in here because they're great to do this stuff with. But yeah, so that's the honey, and there's all kinds of... There's, uh, I think it's gold, yellows, pastels, whites, and it all blends in very, very pretty. Um, these are polyester. Now, these are 40 grams, I think. Were these 40 grams? I thought they were 40 grams. Like I said, these are not in English, really. Some, some of it's in English, but a lot of it isn't. So you just kind of have to go in. Okay, so it's 35 grams. I was wrong. 35 grams. So these are 35 grams, and these are 100% polyester, but they're very, very soft. And these would be great for like little stuffed animal projects or something like that. Um, maybe a little tiny little baby blanket or a little little baby hat, little scarf, things like that. But and there are two different colors that I got. I got one. It's white with like little color flecks in it, little pastel flecks in it, and one is pink with the same kind of flecks. So I don't know if you can see those differences. And these were a hundred yen each, and they're very very soft, very very I sleep on them when I when I get really soft soft fluffy yarn I just want to sleep on it it's so soft um but yeah 100 yen each and these are great um I am coming to my favorites um I haven't used this particular one but I might because I have my first grandnephew coming Lucas <gasps> buddy's here hey buddy buddy you want to say hi hey buddy bean 
Hey, buddy bean. Hey, buddy bean. You want to come say hi? Oh, there's Poe. Can you hear them? Come here, buddy bean. Let's see if buddy will say hi. Hi, buddy beans. Oh, it's my buddy beans. I don't know if you guys can see it, but if I move the camera, he might run away. But there's buddy beans with me and Poe's over there. It's going to jump on my mushrooming shelves. Don't jump on my mushroom shelves. I grow my own mushrooms. Um, and no, not those kind of mushrooms. No, not those kind of mushrooms. But anyways, uh, where was I? Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Be good. These are cute. I love these. Uh, my favorites of all of these are probably the mole yarns. Now, I've made little things with these and these are great for stuffies like little stuffed animal projects these are wonderful they're acrylic uh these are 40 gram uh cakes or, or skeins um it's good for smaller projects you you will have to change yarn a lot but they're 100 yen each and look at these colors this is um they don't have actual they have color numbers on them they don't actually have color names so i've called this one rubber ducky that's what i called it and it's got like a like a cream a pastel yellow and like a like a white if you can see those colors different colors in there and if you look the the neko the cat has little rubber duckies around him neko chan neko i love nekos um this is the other mole yarn i don't know i call this puppy dog colors because it just reminds me of a puppy dog for some reason and this neck goes playing with yarn they all do different things on their little labels and this has like a gray like a taupe and a white if you can see that so i'll show you both sides see that's one side of it it's just the way they're rolled there you go you can see the grays in there too and blended they're really nice because and it does give you a picture you really can't see it. It's 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 really hard to see. But it, it kind of shows you how it crochets or knits up what it looks like. On the back there, if you can see that picture. Um, they all have that. And there is a pink one. This is a like a, a pastel pink, a pastel lilac, and a white. And uh, I don't know, it has a donut. So maybe this will be donut color. Like like I don't know, like strawberry donut color. The little Neko's playing with a donut. And God, I love a donut right now. Like a donut and some coffee. My God, I love a donut. Oh, donuts are so bad for you, but they're so good sometimes. So this is a really pretty, pretty, look at those colors. A hundred yen. One hundred yen. Isn't that pretty? And even if you just made something a little tiny with it, it's so soft and so pretty. Um, and this is the, uh, the fourth mole yarn. Now these are called mole yarns. That's what the, these are the mole yarns. I don't know why they call them mole yarns, but I always wonder why they call them mole yarns. But anyways, my stomach's about to growl here. I'm so sorry. Um, this Neko looks like he is juggling cute little balls. A little juggling one. Can you see him? Can you see him? And these are, this reminds me of like cotton candy. So these were like, I don't know, like, like cotton candy colors. Can you see those colors? Cotton candy colors. That's what I would call that. I would call that cotton candy colors because they're so pretty. And when I see these colors, when I look at this skein of yarn, it just, I think of a unicorn. I don't, I don't know why, a unicorn. So if you were to make a little stuffed unicorn, this would be great. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And I want to apologize if my hair has a sheen to it, like a weird sheen to it. I brush some argon oil through it because I have to let it set through. And I've been trying to, my hair's been so dry lately with the winter and we have the heat running. So it dries everything out. So I do have, I did brush in or pull in some argon oil to sit. Um, I have to treat my hair today. So, but yeah, um, these are not bad. I mean, you figure, let's see here. I'm going to count one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. 
So you figure just for the yarn, and remember, I bought double skeins of everything here, multiple skeins of everything. So if you take all the other skeins that I bought with these, you're probably looking at, I mean, all that yarn, a lot of yarn, maybe 2,500 yen, maybe, maybe 3,000 yen at the most. And that's a lot of yarn. I mean, you can do that in in a, in a pinch anywhere else in the big box stores. If they're eight to ten dollars a skein for a decent yarn you know it's easy um and if you just want to start with little projects these are perfect you don't have to buy a big skein of things to start little tiny projects um but these are really nice and these are really great for budgeting um all these notions 100 yen each all the notions were 100 yen stitch markers which will probably be in goodie bags pom-pom prob makers will probably make it in some of the goodie bags they're going to make it some of the goodie bags as long, uh, as well as these threaders and some, you know, some of the hooks too. But, um, look at this, just an amazing find, an amazing bunch of goodies here. And at a budget price, you don't have to spend, can you see that? You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars to enjoy something you love. You can do it on a budget and I know there are some people who think like budget yarns are just crap yarns or whatever. I mean, I, I don't know. I I found that they work fine for me if I want to do a little quick project. I've used Daiso yarns and I've not had an issue with them. Um, obviously, the ones that aren't wound great with crocheting, it's a little harder than knitting. Um, and I only, I knit a very basic knit stitch. I can purl and knit and that's about it. And when it comes to following patterns and knitting, I'm crap at it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm crap at it. Cause I would be like, oh, did I click the, the stitch counter? I didn't, oh my God, what's, and then I'm trying to count it and I'm like, oh God. And I just stop cause I am, you know, I'm really bad at following patterns and counting stitches. I am, I'm bad at it. Um, that's why I live by stitch markers. I live by them because if I don't, I'll lose my place on them completely. Um, but I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for joining me on my channel. I love doing this and I love doing this with you and for you. Um, and I'm gonna do my best. I wanna, my minimum post is gonna be once a week. Once a week minimum. Um, and I'm gonna to try to aim for two, but I, and I wanna apologize ahead of time. Um, I know a lot of you guys have live chats on your channels and a lot of the times when you do that, it's completely opposite time frame over here so your daytime i'm sleeping my daytime you're sleeping kind of a deal so um i'm gonna try to hit some of those as much as i can because uh, i love live shows they're so much fun um and i'm gonna I, I figure if i get up early 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 in the morning i can probably do one where everybody is kind of like all awake at the same time so I, I might do that in the future that'd be a lot of fun i'd love to actually chat with you guys that'd be so much fun oh my god so much fun uh, but yeah, the contest that I'm running too, my 25 subscriber contest, which I honestly never thought I would make 25. So you guys are absolutely the freaking best, the best. Seriously, like if I had a box of donuts, I would give you guys donuts. I'm so hungry right now. I'm sorry. I'm food fixating. Um, but uh, I wanted to close up within about five days from the day I posted it. Jeff is actually going to be a wave for the day Friday. So he will not be able to do the contest winner selection, the give giveaway selector, selected giveaway winner. Uh, so we're going to do it Thursday evening here, our time here in Japan. So I'm going to have him and I'm going to like video him actually going through comments and people and just randomly picking one. Um, so I want to make this really, really super fair. And I want to do a giveaway at least once a month. So at least once a month, I want to do one giveaway. And it'll be like little fun things like either, you know, put a picture of your whip up there or you know, uh, tell me something really cool about yourself or, you know, answer a question. I'll make it fun. I'll try to make it fun as much as I can, but you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for the shout outs. Thank you for the love. Oh uh, God. It, I mean, I appreciate all the sharing you can do. I love it. Seriously. I appreciate it. Um, I'm trying to grow this. I had to leave. This is going to, this is like, this is what I do now to keep my, my, myself occupied. You know, I, I, uh, I was used to working and when you go from, you know, working in the States and coming here and your husband's like, Oh, why can't you just be retired and like it? And I'm like, what do I do with myself? Um, crochet and, and, and things like this is what I do. You know, I, or I'll play with my birds out there. I'll go take a walk to one of the temples or shrines. And 
I want to share all that with you too. So if there's anything you guys want to see, um, let me know. And if you guys are interested in what I'm doing here in Japan and where we go and what we eat and what we do and see and all that kind of good stuff, uh, check out my GoGo Go Geo Japan page. It's linked below in the actual channel front page uh, on the bottom there, GoGo Go Geo Japan. So, and we just have fun doing that, my husband and I together. So thank you again for being here. And I'm going to post a separate video with the contest, with the giveaway winner. That's going to get posted probably Saturday, my time Saturday. And what I'll do is I'm going to pin to the top comment the email that you can send me your info to. Um, I will announce your name and everything. So, and I'll, I'll post it up in the comment as well. So this way you can get to me through the email um, as well as that. So until next time, as always, thank you so much for everything you guys do. Um, be happy, be kind, be generous, be cool, and keep hooking. Okay? Bye-bye.